Nothing about the last year was normal. But you weathered it with grace, ingenuity, and creativity. In empty classrooms and full Zooms, you kept it together when we were apart. For all that you are, for all that you do, we salute you. Cox presents Salute to Teachers. I. Hi. Hi. I. 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 I am a San Diego Teacher of the Year. And this, and this, and this is Salute to Teachers. <laughs> hey, I'm Troy Johnson from Food Network and San Diego Magazine. I'm here tonight to MC the Cox Presents Salute to Teachers. These teachers have done an amazing job over the last year and a half, keeping everything together, absolutely reinventing what they do. And tonight, we announced five finalists and five teachers of the year. It's about ready to start. It was so exciting to be nominated by my school district for the San Diego County Teacher of the Year. I'm so honored to represent my school district and share and celebrate all the amazing work that's done by all of our teachers. It is every E, and you did not mishear me. I did not put the TH for a reason. It is overwhelming. It makes me feel so much joy, so much love. It's absolutely incredible. I feel humbled and um, honored and surprised and nervous and anxious and embarrassed. Oh my goodness, uh, overwhelming and so honored. I was a complete surprise to be nominated among all of the other nominees. I feel very honored. It was amazing to be nominated because it's something that I you know, work for my whole life to be a good teacher. And so I am very honored to represent my school. It's a huge honor and something that I don't take for granted. I want to represent my profession well and speak up for teachers, especially since we're facing a teacher shortage. I have experienced so much growth going through this process and I sincerely appreciate the opportunity to go through this. I work with so many amazing teachers in our district, so just to be chosen, I'm just overwhelmed. SDCCU is an engaged community partner. Each year, SDCCU is proud to support many nonprofit organizations throughout Southern California. Our partnerships allow us to help shape the financial lives of many through volunteerism, financial support, and creating public awareness. The result is a big impact on the communities we serve. SDCCU, it's not big bank banking, it's better. Federally insured by NCUA. Find out more at SDCCU.com. 71% of Americans have difficulty saving, and the majority live paycheck to paycheck. Changing this starts with education. The STCCU Biz Kids program teaches kids about money and business, establishing the foundation for a successful financial future and helping them manage the financial necessities in life, like establishing good credit to get low rates when purchasing a car or home, which leads to more savings. Learn more at sdccu.com bizkids. My name is John Alicio, and I'm managing partner of Procopio. Procopio is the largest San Diego-based law firm, and we're proud to be a part of this event, the Salute to Teachers. Without the teachers, none of us would have had the success we've had. You know, our firm consists of about 200 professionals and 200 attorneys, so a total of 400 mostly San Diego-educated professionals. Without you, we'd not be winning the cases we win, as we go toe to toe with the best attorneys in the world. So thank you on behalf of Procopio for what you do and how you do it. And a special personal thanks to my alma mater, Valhalla High School and the teachers at that school. Without you, I would not have had the personal success I have had. So from Procopio, thank you for what you do and how you do it. Salute. Hey, welcome back. We're here at Deck 655 in downtown. This is an outdoor patio space, fire pits and ping pong and basketball. I mean, you got Pinocchio's Island for adults. Let's go take a look around. Being here tonight is just amazing. It's incredible. I've never had this kind of a, an event or an opportunity before. It's just a lot of fun. 
I'm excited being here tonight. Um, I'm very honored, I'm very humbled. This venue is great. It's a beautiful night. Always a great night in San Diego. So I love it, it's just great. The view is great, uh, the company's great, so we're just having a good time. This place is great, the view is fantastic. You know, it feels really nice with the breeze, you know, we can be here without a mask. <laughs> it's very nice. It's beautiful, I've never been here. It's, it's very exciting. I have the privilege of working with so many great teachers in Escondido, so just to be here to, to represent them is a complete humbling experience. I mean, it could be an award show without a red carpet, but really could it? We got one, and we got Michelle on it. Let's check in with her. The San Diego Teachers of the Year brought the style for a salute to teachers. The dress code for the party was San Diego chic, and these teachers brought it. From simple classic dresses, to boho summer styles, to bold statements, to even a few sharply dressed men. Teachers showed up and showed out for this year's Salute to Teachers. Well, that was so much fun. Let's start the show. Some of the best educators in San Diego are seated. The cameras are ready and the show's about to begin. Let's salute some teachers. Hi, everyone. I'm Michelle Harris from the television show Alive and Well. Are you ready to celebrate, teachers? Yeah. Yes! Good evening and welcome to Cox Present Salute to Teachers. Brought to you by San Diego County Credit Union, the San Diego County Office of Education, and Cox Communications. To properly get us in the celebratory spirit, Please enjoy our first performance from a group of students from Chula Vista High School who will entertain us with the beauty and culture of Mexican folk dancing, better known as Ballet Folklorico. Members of this group instill life experiences that can be applied to any aspect of their future, such as discipline, determination, and growth. The the song they will be performing is called La Charada. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chula Vista High School Ballet Folklorico. <laughs> Upa, 
Mario, Mario Yo quiero montarme un toro pa' que me mire mi amor your host for this evening. He's an author, writer, TV host, and San Diego native. He's also been the food editor of San Diego Magazine and has been a judge on more than 100 episodes of Food Network's Guy's Grocery Games with Guy Fieri. He is as funny as he is talented. Please welcome Troy Johnson. Hey, you guys. How are you? Oh, um, I thought she said half talented, <laughs> which I thought was amazing. Um, I was asked to be here tonight a, a while ago. I'm a born and raised San Diego native. I know, I know, there's not too many of us that are gonna do a Menge exhibit for us. I'm just gonna put us behind some glass um, and have you walk around and go, what was the rent like back in 1972? Um, I, and it was never even a question because I have so much respect. And when I look out here right now, I see teachers. Um, and I, it's hard for me to explain how much respect I have for teachers, how much respect I feel right now. Because, you know, when I look at you guys, look at you guys all have those teacher eyes. You know, like they're like plunge pools of patience. You know, like just, I, I'm like, I can, I can get away with a lot of stuff, and not, but not too much. You know, um, I want to explain why this meant a lot to me to be here. Um, is there's a few times in the last few years when I've realized my adult respect and reverence and awe of teachers. One of them was a couple years ago when my daughter, uh, she was eight years old at the time, uh, she introduced me to her teacher. This is the person who's going to be guiding her life in the next couple of years, or the next year at least. You know, and she's very important in her life. She said, you know, hello, I'm Alexandra Yates, or Miss Alexandra Yates. You can call me Alex. And I said, yeah, no, I can't. Nope, not at all. Miss Yates, nice to meet you. I'm like, I'm 48 years old. I'm a grown adult, and I cannot call this woman by her first name. I can't call any teacher by their first name because, you know, you just have this, like, lingering awe and respect, you know, and kind of formality with teachers that even as a 48-year-old human being, I will call you whatever you want as long as it formalizes our relationship. Like Mr., Ms., Mrs., Beyonce. I don't care, you know, whatever makes you feel really special. Um, and I think that the reason why that is is because it goes down to miracles. I think that as Americans, we um, kind of prioritize large miracles, right? We want to win the lottery. We want to become an overnight success. We want to have our IPO break, you know? But we're not really interested in, like, doing the, like, hard work, the day-to-day -day work, right? You know, in San Diego, we want 365 days of sunshine, right? <laughs> But we, then we realized, we're like, oh yeah, we need some of that stuff that they call rain because apparently it's important for our species. You know? And so we, we kind of we think about these miracles in our head. And you're like, all right, so we'll take some of that 73 degree blue sky rain. All right, that's what we want. We want that blue sky rain. That's the kind of miracle we, that we want. We want Arizonans to come on over and give us their tourist dollars without taking our parking spots, right? <laughs> You know, like if they just venmo the money and we like DM them some pics of the beach, you know, like that's the kind of weird stuff that we, that we think about, these kind of miracles. And so I think the, what you guys do is a small everyday miracle that is repeated over and over until it becomes massive. I genuinely believe this. This is the thesis of my TED talk today. And I'll explain why this is, that why what you guys do is a miracle is because a, the future of humanity, I think we'd all agree, is kind of important, right? Future of humanity, it's kind of important. OK, good, we're there, OK. And the future of humanity is just an idea, right? It's just in our head. You know, it's just in your head, it's in my head. So all of us are kind of creating the future that we want for the world. We're projecting a future for the people that we love, the next generation, and people we don't even know, you know? so. And if you think about the most important idea of the future, the, most long, the longest vision of what you can see down the road, it's a child's brain, right? It has the longest vision of what we're going to be as a culture and as humanity down the road. So it's one of the most important things that we have on the planet. 
And the miracle is, here's where we get to the miracle part, is that I'm a dad. Um, children's brains, um, I, I'd like to kind of speak from personal experience, are not the most user-friendly, you know, or docile kinds of brains. Not always. Some of them are absolutely beautiful. You know, but as brains go, you know, they're not like lap dogs of, of brains, right? They're more like a wild horse on Red Bull stuck inside of a cranium, you know? <laughs> And so what we do is we ask you to take this wildly important thing, this wildly unpredictable thing, and we hand it to you as parents every single day, five days a week, and we're like, please make something of this. Like, please help guide this. You guys are the bumpers on our bowling. You know, like the, the child is the ball going down the lane and you just keep it going on that right path. And to me, that is a real miracle that it's exercised every single day. So that's why we're here today. Cox presents Salute to Teachers, the everyday miracle of you. I'd like to start by thanking some of our sponsors who are committed to education. San Diego County Credit Union, teaching kids how to be smart with their money. Cox Communications, supporting STEM education and digital equity. And the San Diego County Office of Education, leading innovation in education. Three totally different organizations, all supporting local teachers, local kids, local futures. Um, one of the things teachers do is they help kids find their passions. You know, I was a book nerd early on, and teachers just threw books at me. They said, you know, here's a pen, write your own, and I did. I became a writer. Um, you know, I was a fan of fire. I liked setting things on fire when I was young. And they, you know, they said, well, that's a really great path if you want to see the back of a police car, so why don't we just direct you towards a future that's a little less arsony? And, um, and so they really help us find our true passion and find a good way. Um, so right now, we're going to have another special performance by students who found their passion. These students are from Chula Vista High School of the Creative and Performing Arts. One of a kind performance class meets every day, performs songs from every genre of music from 60s to right now. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for House of Guitars.
Stick around. We got so much more coming up. SDCCU is an engaged community partner. Each year, SDCCU is proud to support many nonprofit organizations throughout Southern California. Our partnerships allow us to help shape the financial lives of many through volunteerism, financial support, and creating public awareness. The result is a big impact on the communities we serve. SDCCU, it's not big bank banking, it's better. Federally insured by NCUA. Find out more at SDCCU.com. 71% of Americans have difficulty saving, and the majority live paycheck to paycheck. Changing this starts with education. The SDCCU Biz Kids program teaches kids about money and business, establishing the foundation for a successful financial future and helping them manage the financial necessities in life, like establishing good credit to get low rates when purchasing a car or home, which leads to more savings. Learn more at sdccu.com slash bizkids. At Procopio, we believe in giving back to our community. We honor that commitment by supporting more than 200 nonprofit, educational, trade, and cultural organizations throughout the region. Procopio, we're a law firm committed to our clients and our community. Salute to Teachers is proudly sponsored by these charitable companies. All right, so this has been a great night. All the teachers are hanging out, acting like they're just teenagers again, playing games. We got ballet folklorico doing the clockwork on the deck. We got some guitar playing going on, but we're here to find out who the winners are of the Teachers of the Year. So let's go watch me talk. All right, so Cox Mazette's Salute to Teachers started 31 years ago um, as a partnership between Cox Communications and the San Diego County Office of Education. The show was born before a lot of you were born. You know, like some of you got carded for wine tonight, the show did not. It is around around for a long time. So here with us tonight to share more about this awesome program is the Senior Vice President and Region Manager for Cox Communications. Already getting some applause over on the side. Ingo Henschel, Ingo Overseas, Operations for Cox in California reinforces their commitment to supporting education in our communities. Prior to joining the company 30 years ago, he proudly served in the United States Marine Corps. Please welcome to the stage, Ingo. Thank you, Troy. Hello, everyone. On behalf of Cox Communications, and as a husband of a public school behavior specialist, I'm so proud to be here with all of you. I've seen firsthand how tough the pandemic has been on everyone, especially the education community. Cox was founded by a teacher, and his legacy of supporting teachers and local education remains strong within our company. Its legacy, our employees, and our company take very seriously. Whether we're awarding scholarships to local students, providing the technology backbone for our schools, or working with many of you to bring a digital equity to all students. We believe now more than ever how important it is to invest in our teachers. Congratulations to all the honorees tonight. Each of you has had to empower your students and their families to push forward despite the challenges of distant learning. And I thank you for that. Thank you, Ingo. Thank you, Cox Communications, for all you do to support local education. Uh, joining us virtually tonight uh, to share more about why we do this is someone I think maybe a couple of you have heard of. He wasn't able to be here tonight, but please help me in welcoming the San Diego County Superintendent of Schools. He is the Chief Administrative Officer for San Diego County Office of Education and provides educational leadership for our region, Dr. Paul Gotham. Good evening. I'm so excited and honored to have the opportunity to address you tonight. I wish I could be there in person to celebrate with you, and I hope that you have been enjoying yourselves, taking a small break from the daily hustle, and pausing to reflect on all that you've accomplished over the last year. As we face another year in this pandemic, I'm inspired by each of you and how you continue to go above and beyond for your students, and in many cases, their families. You work tirelessly to make sure our students' social and emotional needs are cared for, while making sure they have the supports they need to participate and succeed in school. And you're doing it all while also managing your own families, your own concerns, and your own health and safety. I recognize it's a lot to handle, and I admire you for persevering and continuing to shine. We all know how important education and educators are, 
and it's even more clear after these past 18 months. Our teachers are talented, they are dedicated, and they are resilient. I am so impressed by what you do each day, and I am so proud to be in the company of the group of amazing educators. Tonight, we are honoring 26,000 teachers in San Diego County, recognizing those selected by their districts as Teachers of the Year, and naming five County Teachers of the Year. On behalf of our Board of Education, I want to thank our partners at Cox Communications for hosting this incredible event, and San Diego County Credit Union for their continued support. And I want to thank each of you for everything you do for the teaching profession, and more importantly, our students across San Diego County. Congratulations to you all. Thanks to the good doctor, thanks to Ingo, and finally tonight it would be, not be possible without the support of our amazing sponsors. I mean, those cocktails, that ski ball, that chair, this whole place, um, you know, are here because these guys are equally committed to supporting teachers. So let's hear a little more from them. One of the sponsors is Procopio, a local law firm who is focused on providing intelligent legal solutions. Join me in welcoming Fred Taylor, partner with Procopio, to the stage. Thank you, Troy. Thank you. I am proud to be a partner at a law firm that supports so many community organizations and activities across San Diego County. And I'm particularly pleased that my law firm, Procopio, supports Cox's Salute to Teachers. There's really never been a more important time for us to celebrate our teachers. Last year, they were forced to shift on the fly to do remote learning. And my wife and I saw that firsthand. And now they're on the front lines teaching all of us how to coexist with this pandemic. My wife and I really appreciate everything that their teachers and all teachers are doing to provide our children with a high quality and safe education. Thank you so much. You are one well-dressed man. I told you not to outdress me tonight, come on. <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> All right. It is refreshing that see an organization like Procopio, who is serious about law and equally serious about giving back to our educational community, another sponsor that we truly could not ma make this event pull off or happen with is San Diego County Credit Union. Although they aren't in attendance tonight, they sent over a very special message. Let's hear a little more from them. SDCCU is proud to be the presenting sponsor of the Salute to Teachers and celebrate the outstanding work of educators who are making a difference in our community. As a not-for-profit financial institution, giving back and being an engaged community partner is part of the fabric of SDCCU. We proudly support education and are involved in several activities focused on making a difference in local schools. SDCCU, in partnership with the County Office of Education in the County of San Diego, offers teachers and schools support for financial literacy through the SDCCU Biz Kids program, which helps teach kids about money and business. We also have a number of financial wellness presentations for teens and youth and facilitate them for the schools throughout the county. Teachers are critical in shaping today's youth and we applaud each of the nominees for the work they do each day to give students the knowledge and skills they need to succeed. On behalf of all of us at SDCCU, we thank each and every teacher for all that you do. All right, SDCCU, Procopio, Cox Communications, lots of places that they could spend their dollars, but they chose to spend them here, so I take some notes on that. I always genuinely appreciate sponsors. I used to be like, oh, come on, it's just a sponsor mentioned, but these people actually put their money where their mouths are. They actually participate in this. So uh, we are almost there at the announcement of the San Diego County Teachers of the Year. Um, we have to build up the tension a little bit. We can't just come on, say the names, and you guys go have wine, although that sounds also tempting. Um, so, um, First, I would like to ask all of our district teachers of the year to please stand so that we can salute you. I would also like to take a moment to recognize the five reigning county teachers of the year. We were not able to celebrate their achievements in person last year, so we want them all to know how much we appreciate them and what they've done during this most challenging year. They are 
Ara Allard, Delmar Hills Elementary School, Delmar Union School District. Christine Hill, Ramona High School, Ramona Unified School District. Jose Mello, Valley Center Middle School, Valley Center, Palma Unified School District. Paula Richardson, Wilson Middle School, San Diego Unified School District. What a great last name on this one. Jay Tweet and El Capitan High School, Grossmont Union High School District. There he is! Come on! There it is, Jay Tweet, the man with the beautiful social media name. Look at that, 146 characters of great teaching. <laughs> This is about to get good. We got the Teachers of the Year. Stick around. 71% of Americans have difficulty saving. And the majority live paycheck to paycheck. Changing this starts with education. The STCCU Biz Kids program teaches kids about money and business, establishing the foundation for a successful financial future and helping them manage the financial necessities in life, like establishing good credit to get low rates when purchasing a car or home, which leads to more savings. Learn more at sdccu.com slash bizkids. I am a San Diego Teacher of the Year, and this is Salute to Teachers. Hi, my name's Ant Anston, and I just want to say a huge congratulations to all the San Diego teacher nominees for this year's Cox Presents Salute to Teachers. Now, let's be honest, 2021 was a really tough year, but you faced that year with grace, with ingenuity, with creativity. At a time when we were apart, you managed to bring us all together. You managed to create a classroom that was virtual, and in doing so, you helped continue to mould the future leaders of tomorrow. As a father of three myself, I have to take my hat off to you and say thank you. Well done. All right, so now I'd like to introduce another very important person who's gonna join me here to announce the 2021-2022 San Diego County Teachers of the Year. Um, as the Vice President of Government and Public Affairs for Cox Communications, she oversees the company's community outreach and philanthropic giving, including Cox Charities, which has awarded over $2 million in scholarships to graduating high school seniors in San Diego County. Her team also works with local schools to bridge the digital divide with Cox Connect to Compete program, and at home, She's the wife of, a, wife of a teacher, mother of two young daughters who attend local public schools. Please welcome Chanel Hawken. How are you? Good. All right, you're going to grab that one? Uh, it's really great to be here tonight uh, with these amazing educators and in person. It's been a fabulous night already, hasn't it? And now I think we're ready to make some announcements. Are you ready to make some announcements? I am ready to make some announcements. Uh, it's always just so impressed with the San Diego County Office of Education that's done such a great job to make this event here so incredibly special and rewarding for our teachers. Uh, and it's really well deserved. Uh, while we all undergo the unparalleled experience of living through COVID-19, our communities have asked so much from our teachers. Uh, they're the closest witnesses of our challenges of the pandemic that's brought for the students, for themselves, for our communities, and their expertise and judgment are critically important to solving these challenges as the pandemic continues and in its aftermath. We support the great work you have done and it's sure to come. So thank you so much for all that you do. Round of applause for all the teachers. Yes. I couldn't have said it any better. I mean, it is nothing short of amazing. The Cox Communications San Diego County Office of Education has been partnering to do this for 31 years, recognizing our teachers. And we couldn't do without our all of our sponsors. But one more mention, including presenting sponsor, San Diego County Credit Union, Procopio, and our media sponsors, KPBS, the U San Diego Union Tribune, iHeartRadio, Mightier 1090, and San Diego Magazine. Thank you, sponsors, for supporting our teachers and local education at this event year after year. Yes. I love that San Diego Magazine and their food editor. It's, it's actually very entertaining. I like getting it at my house. Thanks. Uh, but you know, we're all here, right, to support some well-deserved fun and to hear a big announcement 
But before we do, let's also give all of our nominees one more big round of applause. You are incredible. Woo! All right, guys. San Diego County of Education Selection Committee chooses our five San Diego County Teachers of the Year. And they also selected five teachers to be recognized as finalists. So let's start with the finalist. Chanel, if you don't mind, would you announce our finalists? I am happy to. What we've all been waiting for. Our first finalist is Amy Wirt, who teaches at the Ira Harvison Elementary at National School District. Our second finalist is from the San Diego Unified School District, Sharon Apple, who teaches at Hoover High School. And our third finalist is Anna Nosal from Mount Miguel High School in the Grossmont Union High School School District. Our fourth finalist is Tick Shrunaluk. I'm sorry, I hope I try my best. <laughs> Teacher at Potter Junior High in the Fallbrook Union Elementary School District. I did practice your name. <laughs> and our last finalist is also from the San Diego Unified School District, Francia Pineos, who teaches at Trace Alternative School. Congratulations to all of our finalists. I had to notice five strong women in this finalist group. That's pretty nice. I right? know. Woo. Okay. I have a daughter and a wife at home. It was, it was very reminiscent. Yeah, I'm the only, <laughs> I, I only man daughters. in a group. <laughs> My husband says the same thing. Well, in no particular order, our first 2021-2022 San Diego County Teacher of the Year is <laughs> from West Hills High School in the Grossmont Union School District, Tiffany Jokers. Yes, come on down, please. <laughs> um, I, I'm truly honored to be selected San Diego County Teacher of the Year. It's, it's crazy. Uh, this year has provided a mountain of challenges, every, but every mountaintop is within reach if you just keep climbing. We are forced to rethink and relearn to reach students in new ways. I truly believe that our education system as a whole has grown and changed for the better. It's been said, the best view comes after the hardest climb. And I sincerely believe that we are seeing the best view for our students' education with all the growth that we've experienced. I wanna say thank you to my grandparents who sent me on this path to be a teacher, to my friends, family, and incredible husband somewhere up there <laughs> um, for walking this path with me, and to my district, school, and department for allowing me to trailblaze. Um, as well as my mentor, friend, and former teacher of the year, John Bure, for always encouraging me to live outside my comfort zone. To my three kids at home, mommy loves you, and this is for you. Our second San Diego County Teacher of the Year is from Central Elementary School in the Escondido Union School District, Laura Reyes. Thank you for this honor. To Cox and the San Diego County Office of Education, thank you for organizing this event despite the many obstacles and challenges. No doubt I am surrounded by hardworking and talented teachers who share this recognition with me. To you, I say congratulations. We have all worked hard during a challenging year and have shown dedication and courage in reaching many families, not only educationally, but emotionally as well. We are in this together. I'd like to thank my husband, my family, my colleagues, and my friends who have supported me to help me grow professionally. Thank you again for this honor, and let's continue to lift one another up and support each other as we continue to touch tomorrow's leaders. So our third San Diego County Teacher of the Year is from San Altos Elementary in the Lemon Grove School District, Jacqueline Jourdain. Ooh, 
I was not expecting this. And it's kind of hard to write something and jinx yourself. Uh, so here it goes. So uh, today is my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, dad. He's here. Um, he's overcome polio, a near fatal car crash, uh, and stage four cancer. Uh, he dedicated his life to helping farm workers. My mom dedicated her life to helping students. I kind of followed in, in their path. I um, want to thank all of my wonderful teacher friends, my administrators throughout the years. I want to thank my family. Um, I want to thank you. I, I stand here among amazing educators. And it wouldn't be possible this year without the collaboration and cohesiveness of amazing people like you. So thank you. I, I'm honored and blessed and surprised and embarrassed. And I, I just want to thank everyone. And um, thank you. One more round of applause. She's shaking a little bit. You did great. Amazing. And to dad. Um, I, that's as, as a father myself, I can't imagine in 25 years from now um, being sitting here seeing my daughter get an award like that. That's awesome. All right, so our fourth San Diego Teacher of the Year from James Duke Elementary in the Ramona Unified School District, Heather McLean. I'm incredibly blessed and incredibly lucky to be a teacher, and I, and I thank my lucky stars every day. My mother got me into the profession, um, her encouragement, and I watched the relationships that she forged with her students and the trust and what she was able to do with their lives. And so I came into teaching with the inspiration of my mother, and I stay because of um, the incredible staff that I work with. I've had the same teaching partner for over 20 years, Mark Dillon, and he is just as responsible for getting me here. Um, and so are so many of the people that I work with. And I always tell people I got in teaching because of my mom and I stay because of the staff and the students that I work with. Um, I am so proud of my school. I'm so proud to represent James Dukes and proud to represent elementary. And I'm so grateful to my family for giving me the opportunity to, to go in on weekends and to, to commit. Um, and my husband, Brian, who's a firefighter, um, who works nights and I work days. So one of us is always home with our children. Um, and my babies, my Caitlin and my John, I'm so, so proud and so pleased um, that they get to see their mom, you know, get to this point. So I thank you. I thank you for the privilege of, of um, allowing me to participate in this process. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. And now for our last. For our fifth and final 2021-2022 San Diego County Teacher of the Year is from Cesar Chavez Middle School in the Oceanside Unified School District, Zai Sanders. You are the best ever. I just want in on that love. Oh, that's so good. Thank you, Cox Communications family, San Diego Credit, Union, San Diego County Office of Education, and everyone else who helped put this event together. Thank you to the selection committee for this honor of representing San Diego County as one of the 21-22 teachers of the year. My current response to the question when asked, why do I teach, is I do it for the love. Borrowed from a song called, uh, from a group called A Tribe Called Quest, Google it. Okay. <laughs> Something else that I've borrowed is on a sign at my neighborhood Starbucks, which says, be somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody. And to make it my own, I've added, I want to make everyone feel loved. I am able to love because someone first loved me. So thank you, God. I love you. To my mom who is here tonight, thank you. And I love you. Dad, mom took my guest ticket, sorry. But I still love you. Thank you, family and friends, too many to name, but I thank you and I love you all. Thank you to my OUSD family, I love you. Thank you to my Cesar Chavez Middle School. Gracias y te amo mucho. We're a dual language school, okay. And finally, thank you to the Academy and the Hollywood Foreign Press, who have nothing to do with this, but it's something I've always wanted to say, and now it's off my bucket list. 
And lastly, to borrow from Gwen Stefani on a fruit scale, this honor is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Thank you, everybody, and I love you. All right, I wish I could quote Gwen Stefani right now, but I can't, so I'm going to quote me and say, go have yourself some wine. Um, enjoy your night, and congratulations again. You guys have a great night. Thank you so much. Being able to do a reimagined event this year in an outdoor venue uh, in a safe way, I just, it's been amazing. Truly, it's been really the highlight of my year. I, I can't thank our partners enough, our sponsors and the teachers themselves. I'm so proud to just be able to be a part of it and support it. This evening's been amazing. I mean, you couldn't have picked a better location, a better night, um, and a better group of people. I think everyone had fun this evening. Recognizing the teachers, there was a lot of energy in the room. It was a different format than we've done in the past, and I think it was extremely successful. And uh, we look forward to future events for Salute to Teachers. Teachers work for us every single day. A lot of it is unsung work. Tonight, we sung it. Tonight, we made them the stars of the show for the work that they've done, not only over the last couple of years, but for the last five years, 10 years, decades. They've showed up day after day. This was Cox Presents Salute to Teachers. Thank you guys so much for showing up, for being here to show how much they mean to us. Have a great night.